Call Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Shem, Rukhach, Kudash. Let's see this word, Igli, call God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, and the Paleo, ancient Hebrew tongue. Double honors to all the elders and the apostles, because the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and sincerity. Shout out to the hopeful elect. Shout out to the Israelites, just like a speckled bird, looking like a heathen, causing confusion. And very few Akbar that believe, and y'all that believe in our testimony, be Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shabbat, to y'all would like to say Shabbat. Shalom. Come out here, prophesy the downfall of America once again, man. And I'm uh, just going to get into uh, uh, how the Lord was talking to Ezra's man about how, um, about the, his, his nation. And this this shows you that uh, the apocrypha belongs in the Bible, man. Because if it didn't, why was Ezra prophesying the same stuff the Lord was prophesying to Isaiah and uh, Ezekiel? And uh, Jeremiah, so they're, they're, they're talking. They're all talking about the same thing, man. You know how Israel just, just, just a bad, just a bastard nation, and just, just rebellious, man. You know, Israel became a bastard nation because the Lord turned His back on them, man. But, but there's a remnant that's going to come back, man. But the Lord didn't turn His back on who Yahweh Shah came and died for. Hey, you got something to say? Second Israel chapter uh chapter two verse one. It says, Thus said the Lord, I brought this people out of bondage, and I gave them my commandments by my servants, the prophets. You see that? He brought this people out of bondage, man. So the Lord had brought Israel out of bondage several times, man. Several times. And if you look in today, who, who's the people that's in bondage today? You so called Negroes, Spanish, and Native Indians. Even though y'all think y'all free, y'all definitely not, man. Y'all definitely not free, man. Yeah, that's just a facade, man. Y'all not free at all, man. If, if you think you're free, you're under witchcraft as well, as the rest of these other people. And it says, I gave them commandments, man. So the Lord gave his, brought his people out of bondage several times and gave him his commandments to live by. But they still won't do it, man. And he said, by my servants, the prophets, man. Who is the prophets, man? Not them pastors in your church. The prophets is the ones that's in the street, man. He said the uh, wisdom, wisdom cries out in the streets, man. You know? His prophets is on the streets, man. And, and, and he sackcloth, man. With the fringes, man. You know? Not in no t-shirts with fringes. You know? They're out there sackcloth, man. The true prophets, man. The ones that the, the ones that the ones that learn from GMS, man. Uh, those are the true prophets, man. If you ask me, you know, those are the true prophets, man. And the ones that still pushing, man, still doing the will, man. Go ahead, brother. It says, uh, I'm gonna start back on the top. It says, "Thus said the Lord, I brought this people out of bondage, and I gave them my commandments by my servants, the prophets, whom they would not hear, but despise my counsels." Despise the counsel, man. And that's what Jake love to do, man. Jake can laugh at us. Jake say something wrong with y'all. America ain't gonna be destroyed. Jake sit here and tell you, man, oh man, ain't, ain't, man, ain't nothing gonna happen to us, man. Jake, Jake despises his word. His word said this place gotta go because of what they do to Jake, man. But Jake despises and sit here and tell you, man, hey man, we, man, America can't be destroyed. Why? Because Jake wanna stay here, man. A lot of these camps that don't prophesy the end either, man. Because why? They still want to be here, man. They still want to prolong this place, man. We we ready we ready for uh his word to come true, like he said, man. His Babylon is gonna be desolate, man. And that's what we waiting on, man. Alright, for sure. Alright, this is the book of Baruch, chapter one, and uh verse twenty one. It says, nevertheless, we have not hearkened to the voice of the Lord our God, according unto all the words of the prophets, whom he sent unto us all. And that's, that's going into what Ezra was talking about, man. Through the Lord, man. The Lord sent his prophets to warn the nation of Israel, man. Basically, man. All through the Bible, you can see that, man. You know, when the judge, book of Judges are uh, everywhere, man. And Jeremiah, it was warning the people, man. Turn away from these idols and these gods, man. But if we tell Israel to do that today, they're, they're not understanding who's the idols and the gods. Why? Because it's been put up as a different 
a different uh what's the, a different um put up in a different way to where they don't know it's God's man. You know, it's been put up it, right, it's been deceived, man. It's been put up to them as like we're doing this for the kids, you know. Okay. When when they don't really they don't really realize like you're you're bowing down to idols and gods, man. You're worshiping them. It's a lot. I got a picture up here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, Jehovah that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, right? And that cover with the covering, that's the same covering, even going back to Genesis with Adam and Eve, they tried to cover themselves from forsaking the Lord by taking on other gods and other idols, and they thought that would be their deliverance, you know? But it says, That cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And that's what the children of Israel do, man. Forsaking the Lord, adding sin unto their sin. They falling after these idols, thinking that that's going to deliver them from your house shot, man. And truly, they just added more sin to their sin, man. You know, going into, going into their rebellion. Their rebellion from the Lord. Back to Second Israel, chapter uh, 2, and verse 2. It says, The mother that bare them said unto them, Go your way, ye children. For I am a widow and forsaken. And, he, and that goes into Yahweh Shah is married to the nation of Israel, man. And that's why that's why he told them, go your way, man, for I am a widow now. Like he said in Jeremiah, um, uh, uh, I am married unto you. Turn away from your uh, transgressions, basically, you know what I'm saying? But Israel hasn't turned away from their transgressions, man. So the Lord made himself a widow, man. You know, he made himself a widow now. Now he telling them, go, well, go then, man. Go, go pray to these other guys, man. You know what I mean? Because I'm tired of taking y'all out of bondage. You know, the Lord took Israel out of bondage. And Israel act right for maybe a couple months, years, and then turn around and worship, back worshiping idols, man. That just show you how easily misled Israel is, man, amongst the congregation of the heathen. They're easily misled. Jake get Jake gets some heathen pussy that's good and just forget about his his power and go worship, go worship, do whatever the woman wanted him to do, bro. And I can see that in the days of old, man. Like Jake's getting these heathen women busting them down and stuff, man. The heathen women doing them right, they doing whatever the woman say, man. Don't even come, don't forget about their true power and the commandments. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Israel, that's what Israel doing today. But until what today, Israel don't even, know, don't even know their power, bro. Don't even know their power. They think nigga is a king. Right. <laughs> a real nigga. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. That Jeremiah 3 just proving the point, like I said, that where the Lord is married unto the nation of Israel. Yeah. It's Jeremiah 3, uh, verses 6 through 8. It says, The Lord said also unto me in the days of Josiah the king, Hast thou seen that which backsliding Israel hath done? She has gone up upon every high mountain and under every green tree, and there hath played the harlot. You know, and how can you play a harlot? Well, what what is a harlot? Is in, in in this spiritual context is when you go off and serve other gods, man. Because we know that we're married to the Lord Yahweh, man, by some Yahweh Shah. So being a harlot is taking on other idols who you're not married to, as you are the nation of Israel. It says. Verse 7, and I said after she had done all these things, turned out unto me, because she returned not. I mean, sorry, but she returned not. And her treacherous sister Judah saw it. And I saw when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, I had put her away and given her a bill of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the harlot also. And, and that's really prophecy, man, talking about how the northern, uh, southern kingdoms of Israel will be separated. And then after the northern kingdom, if I, yeah, after the northern kingdom was getting judged for what they were doing, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, still in the land serving the Lord, they eventually went off not fearing what the Lord did to the northern kingdom, you know? But all going back to the same point that the Lord was married unto us, but we went and played the harlot by going off and serving other guys. And the Lord cast it like, like I said, man. Uh, the Lord said, look, you go serve these idols, I'm going to cast you off. They went and served the idols, so the Lord casted us off, man. You know? This is Jeremiah 35 and verse 15, and it reads, 
I have sent also unto you all my servants the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way, and aim your doings, amend your doings, and go not after other gods to serve them. And ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers, but ye have not inclined your ear nor hearken unto me. That's right, man. That just, that goes in the Israel just being hard, man. Uh, you know, the, the, man, the Lord probably just mean well, trying to tell Israel to turn away, man, from their transgressions and their sins, man. But Israel, Israel will not do it, man. Israel will not do it, man. Israel, man, Israel is the worst people on earth, man. <laughs> Especially to even deal with, first of all, to even deal with, man. Israel is just. It was just beat down, man, to the point to where, like, yeah. they're not accepted nowhere, man. And then if Israel is accepted somewhere, he's going to stay there and love it, man. You know? You said you got a piece of what? Oh, no, nah, we done got off of it. Nah, yeah, we done got off of it. Well, I'm going to go, go back to uh, 2 Edges chapter 2, and, uh, verse 3. It says, I brought, I brought you up with gladness, but with sorrow and heaviness. Have I lost you? For ye have sinned before the Lord Yahweh your God and done that thing that is evil before him. See that? You said, the Lord said, I have brought you up in gladness. But with heaviness and sorrow, I have lost you, man. Well, why? Because Israel had lost their way to the power, man, their true power, man. And the Lord, the Lord said, with heaviness and sorrow, man. So that I mean, like, man, the Lord is truly hurt by what his people is doing, man. Shoot hurt by what his people is doing, huh? How the Lord love, 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 and he just tells you, but the heaviness and sorrow, I have lost you, man. So, hey, that means the Lord has feelings too, man. Uh -huh. It ain't just love, man. He got feelings of how his people is treating him, man. Uh -huh. You know, his people ain't doing right, man. I understand how everybody, uh, all these Christians and these Catholic people just forget about the nation of Israel, man. And one thing you got to know, man, according to the Bible, man, Israel is a people before it's a place, man. Uh -huh. That's very important to understand, man. Because if you don't understand that, then you're totally lost, period. You know what I'm saying? And he, he's, he's basically warning about his people through the scriptures. He's going to let them know, like, this is what I'm going to do to the righteous, and this is what I'm going to do to the unrighteous. The only righteous people and unrighteous people is the nation of Israel. When he talks about the wicked, you know who that is, man. That's script. That, that's Esau, man. And he mentions heathens as well, man. You know? But the Lord has lost, Israel has lost their way, man, to their power, man. And they have done evil in, front, in his eyes, man. Like, uh, what do he say? Um, they follow their own imaginations of their own heart, man. And they have done this evil thing in my, in my eye, in my sight, roughly paraphrasing, man. And that's what Israel do, man. Israel, man, Israel follow every philosophy, man, but the scriptures. Everything that's been given to them, they'll follow anything that's been given to them under science. You know? Big Bang Theory. How the fuck we all come, how the fuck humans gonna come on Earth by a bunch of planets just banging together? <laughs> <laughs> just exploding. God. And it just made a human body. Uh, right. If that's the case, how you explain Earth? How do you explain this place right here, bro? If the Big Bang Theory is so real, how do you explain this place, man? Because this place is different from every other planet that you say is out there. That you say is out there, you uh, know. Uh, <laughs> we, we don't know what the Lord got out there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they named after uh, Greek gods and Greek philosophies, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so we, boy, he saw it. Boy, he's uh, got a hell of a mind, bro. Mm -hmm. Paint picture for the masses to think that. They, there's planets out there. And we don't been out there already. We don't been to Mars. Oh, yeah. 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 They, they, they got a, they got a <laughs> picture of the galaxy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Universe. They, come on. They, they got a picture of the galaxy showing <laughs> a ring of stars and planets. <laughs> and the sun in the middle. A little small tiny dot out there on the ring is where I got it. Yeah. How y'all get that picture? Right. 
<laughs> and we barely getting phone signals out here. <laughs> you, go, you go to the country, you're yeah, dying. Yeah, yeah. You go to the country, you're dying. Ain't Ain't you know, sir. We barely get signal out here. Off these towers. But y'all can go way out in the heavens. Like here. Down. Way out there. Big Tar ain't got Pluto out there, the coldest planet. Way yeah, out there. You gotta yeah. fucking get out there if it's that cold. <laughs> Fuck these spot. <laughs> Well, he's so boy. He's so so old. Yeah, I've seen that already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that already. Dinosaurs. 200 million years. Dinosaurs is 70 million years, 750 million years old. The fuck? You don't age me. You're still here. God, God, God. These are 70 million, 70 million years old. Oh no, no, they said, they said, oh, I seen, um, I remember this when I was back in school, man, they said that's how the dinosaurs went away, was the Big Bang. Oh, they said the meteor. No, but if we were not here before that. Yeah. How do you know? Exactly. Yeah. 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 So they said they said a big meteorite came, yeah. killed all the life of the dinosaurs. Killed every dinosaur. So where the dinosaur. fuck human come from? They, I don't know. Oh, uh, I forgot. The, the monkeys. monkeys. The monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. But yeah, when that when that big ass meteorite killed the monkeys too? Yeah. So how did we know like we evolved from monkeys? But how the monkeys still here? Exactly. Come. Well, should we see uh, a human come out of monkey by now? We should see humans coming out of monkeys if we actually came from monkey. No, we just evolved. Why they in the zoo chilling? <laughs> <laughs> why ain't they out here with us? <laughs> Walk around. God, they, 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 they so cool. They come mules. They should be chilling like us. Shit. Uh, yeah, he's all full of shit, man. He's oh, all full of shit, boy. The father of lies, man. Lies. Uh, all right, okay. You go back? Yeah, you can get it. Right. Right. This is the book of Second uh, Andrews, chapter 2, and uh, verse uh, 4. It says, But what shall I know? It's like it. But what shall I now do unto you? For I am a widow and forsaken. Go your way, O my children, and ask mercy of the Lord Yahweh. But how should we have a shot? So, like, run that back one more time, brother. Uh, Second Andrews chapter 2 and verse 4. It says, But what shall I now do unto you? I am a widow and forsaken. Go your way, O my children, and ask mercy of the Lord your howl. Hmm. What should I do unto you? Lord, I ask him, we know what he's going to do to him. What, what's that scripture, uh, Malachi? Uh, is it Malachi? Wow. Uh, it said I was, uh, one, two thirds would be burnt with fire. Oh, Zechariah. Zechariah. That's what he's going to do. He already know what he's going to do. He's already forsaken him, man. His children, his children don't want to listen, man. And then I think what, 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 what kills me is these, these Christians and these regular people say, how would a God put his own people he loved in a slave? Yeah, they say that. Bro, bro, I then then when, you, when 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 I try to explain it, like okay, for instance, when I went to go see my son, my uncle was like, man, I wanna uh, talk to me about what you in, man, um, and like why um why are we like this? Why why are black people like this? So I started explaining it to him and breaking it down. He like, man, no, I can't see that. He said, why would the Lord love the people and want to kill them? I said, don't you chastise your son? Don't you don't that like like the Lord has people the Lord okay the Lord going the Lord has people and he has to whip them man he has to whoop his people bro so how can he whoop his people through other nations man it has to happen if the Lord don't discipline his people what what, what good is Israel what good is Israel bro if you don't chastise your kids what good is your kids bro People don't think, people think that the Lord is supposed to just love his people no matter what they do, bro. 
and he's not going to chastise them, bro. Bro, how can you look at things like that when you look in this world and you come in and you birth children? You're going to chastise your children. You're going to correct them, man. So the Lord has to correct his people, man. That's why they went into slavery. Well, I can't see that because if he loved his people, he wouldn't do nothing like that. He wouldn't. Yeah, yes, he would. Lord says he chastised who he loved, man. So they got to, they Israel had to go through the Atlantic slave trade, man. They had, and then they went through that and still was hard headed. And then the, the Lord set them, the Lord didn't even set them free. He gave them to the private, he took them away from the private slave owner. And, and able, able to let them walk around free and still they were still rebellion and still wanted to do what they wanted to do. Well, I got Psalms 106 and 43 says, Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Mm -hmm. So like he said, the Lord had to punish us, man. But he's showing you how, you know, in the scriptures, how many times I don't I don't I don't show, you know what I'm saying, that I have the power to, you know, uh, bring you up and I have the power to bring you down. Mm -hmm. You know, and our people are not learning from it, man. You know? But they always act. Why are we in this predicament? Why are we in this predicament? Why 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 is it like this for black folks? The Bible ain't all the book gonna tell you that about the Bible. Well, go ahead, brother. Nah, he was asking. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, what Go ahead, brother. Uh, this is Hebrews twelve and six, and I'm gonna read down to verse ten. It says, For whom the Lord loveth he chasteneth, and scourges every son whom he receiveth. You know, which Clearly, we know who the children of the Lord is. It's the children of Israel. And it says every son, but it's talking about his children. It says, verse 7, If ye endure chastening, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai deals with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? You know, so if the Lord didn't correct us and, you know, punish us and rebuke us, how is that love? You know, when you, if you love your son, when you tell him, if you put your hand on that stove, it's going to burn you. And then whoop his, whoop his ass after after the burning. So you know, look, not only are you going to get burned, but look, I'm going to do something to you too because I told your ass and you're not listening. You know, that that's a more of an instillment of, okay, I should fear not only this, what's going to happen to me, but my father, who will also judge me upon what I do. You know, it says in verse 8, Hebrews 7 and 8, But if ye be without chastisement, wherefore all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. And... and Really, you falling after Esau if you're a bastard, man. Because Esau wasn't received by the Lord. And we see how the Lord is treating him, letting him do all this wickedness just so he can reveal, nigga, you're going to die. You don't even get to exist in my paradise, nigga. That's how the Lord... I ain't going to cut you off. Yeah, you're good. Go ahead, go ahead. And, now, and now you see Esau crying out for his birthright. <laughs> like, yeah, some yeah. Edomites, some Edomites is, uh, yeah, have, uh, are realizing that they're, you know... Yeah, yeah, it's only for the nation of Israel. Nah, it's only for the nation of Israel. You got these videos of Esau uh, crying, you know, wishing they ain't sell their birthright, but they can't do nothing about that. Nah. Was that scripture they shall complain of an ungodly father? Mm hmm. And it's the book of the rock. Uh, yeah, it goes into the same spirit, like you said, man. They, they really want to be us, and that's why they hate us, because we got what they can never get, man. Uh -huh. you know? Which is chastisement, the love of the Lord, man. It says in verse 9, Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? You know, for, for niggas who complain, well, if our God loves us, why, why would he put us in slavery, you know? You know, for anyone who says that, we understand why he put us in slavery. It's for the elect, man, so they can live. So they can get delivered by Yahweh Shai and have everlasting life, man. Literally, this is, this is the world the Lord set up. So Yahweh Shai can get glory and give praise to his father to save the elect so they can get glory and give praise to their father, man, through Yahweh Shai. It's, it's a beautiful story when you're in the spirit and you can understand it, man. And I'm going to off of verse 12, Hebrews 12, and, I mean, verse 10, Hebrews 12 and 10. For they verily for a few days chast chastened us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness, right? which is the whole point of why he casted us into slavery. So we can not only have understanding of good and evil, but so he can also receive us once again back into his holiness. And we be, you know, his example of righteousness in the earth, man. On the Yahweh Shai, you know. I got one. Uh, this is Proverbs uh, chapter 13. 
and uh, verse 24. It says, he that spared his rod hated his son, but he that loved him chastised him be time. And what's that word, be time? Uh, I mean, I think it's like, uh, I think it's the mean like early, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see though. Yeah, you guys, I don't see him, but I definitely forgot. You said Proverbs what? But as it says, 24. he that, he that loved his son chastises him, man. And I, and I believe that B time goes into, like you were saying, not, maybe not even just when you tell them. It is early. early. Yeah. So as soon as, as soon as they go off, man, you're ready to correct them, man. You're not going to yeah. let them keep fucking up until you die and then be like, oh, damn, well, I was going to tell them. But fuck, you dead now. You know, that's not love, man. As soon as you see your kid about to fall off the cliff, you're trying to reach out, hey, grab him. Hey, nigga, what the fuck you doing? You tripping, nigga, you don't see that cliff? You know, hey, if that's the type of spirit that Yahweh, by Shemi has oh, yeah. towards his people. Not only did he warn us before, but he gonna tell us again that he warned us, and then he gonna judge us because we weren't listening, man. You know, and and and, and the act of not not for Lord, you don't have to hope, but in the act of us realizing, dang, like he did tell me, and he's telling me again. That's that's sincere, man. That's real, and that's the love the Lord is showing us right now, even in Babylon, man. Yeah, I got this is uh, Proverbs 19 and verse 18. Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crime. That's what, that's what you must do, man. You can't, you can't spare your kids, man. But if you keep sparing your kids, man, they're going to feel like they can run over you, man. Amen, period, man. That's right. That's right, bro. Been bucking up against the Lord several times, <clears throat> even even through chest times. Man, Israel has became worse than their forefathers. Man, that's why. Uh, oh, oh, that's why I was watching the video of Edward Cobb, and he said, um, just how Israel was, Israel was in the days of Noah. That was the same people that's here now. Doing the same shit again. Yeah, everybody here. Yeah. 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 You got Jews here. What? Yeah. 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 Tastes like a motherfucker, a hundred dead pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's on the grill. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, it tastes like a real fresh toast. Way better. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
10 and 20. By, uh, yeah, 10 and 20, but Isaiah is very bold and says, I was found to them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. But to Israel, he says, all, the, all day long, I have stretched my, I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gathered man's people. Man, he's talking to, talk to the children of Israel right there, man. Uh, yeah. you, know, I, I, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta consider how the Lord feels, man. He, he, He's uh, constantly delivering you out of your troubles, and he just wants you to do one thing and is obey his commandments, man. Right. And and he's doing all this for his people that he loves, man. But they not they not showing no type of gratitude or nothing, or no thanks. Just ungrateful, disobedient children, man. Yeah. Nah, that's it. That's, that's uh, this is Isaiah five and two. And I'll just get to the point. It says, and, and he fenced it and gathered out the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vine. And, and that choicest vine being the tribe of Judah. It says, and built a tower in the midst of it and also made a wine press therein. That wine press going in to chastisement, correction. You know, really it's talking about slavery. The Lord uh, set up slavery to correct us so we, we would return and listen. But it ended up doing the contrary, man. It says, well, for the two thirds. It says, uh, and made a also, and also made a wine press therein. And he looked that it should bring forth grapes, and it brought forth wild grapes. That's you two thirds, man. Out here, we out here, literally in America right now, which the scripture calls Babylon the Great, the worst of the worst of all our punishments, man. And, and y'all are loving it, man. Y'all treat America like this is the promised land. Y'all wild as fuck, according to the scriptures, man. And the Lord is looking for natural born grapes, which is His elect, man. The the servants. Of Yahweh Shemashah of the nation of Israel who were believing in Yahweh Shah and keeping his commandments. It says in verse 3, And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge, I pray you, betwixt me and my vineyard. What could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Right? And, and that's what we're seeing right now, man. The Lord, is like, damn, I don't fuck y'all up, man. The, the worst way I knew how. You know, so what else can I do? Thermonuclear fire, man. Y'all just gotta die. You know, that's what that's what the Lord sees, man. Uh, yeah. That that's the only way for 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 right to see to be uh, brought forth, man. Only right to see. They ain't gonna receive a correction just off slavery, bro. Nah, they got to do it. Israel, 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 slavery and end up loving it. Uh, like like you said, the same must know it after death by pain. You know, he he gotta make you feel it, man. He gotta make you feel it, baby. I'll, I'll finish the verse real quick. Isaiah 5 and 4. What could have been done more to my mind yard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes. So he's like, I done fucked y'all up. I done put y'all in Babylon. What else could I do, man? You know? And that's, that's what the Lord's saying. It's just going to bring forth wild grapes. So that's why the Lord got to destroy not only Babylon, they set up to correct us, but you got to destroy you wicked ass niggas. And nigga women amongst Babylon, man, you know, and, well, and that, that are, are following the wicked ways. That, those of y'all that hate the Lord, man, y'all got to be destroyed on this side. Mm-hmm. That's why grace is two-thirds. Exactly. Exactly. It's all to pull it out, you know. Two-thirds, man. Because the two-thirds are, are openly uh, showing themselves, you know, because uh, they, 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 they engage in all types of the philosophies that are outside of the scriptures that have, you know, that go against the scriptures. Sure. Anything that Esau puts forth, you know, uh, like he said, like he was talking about earlier, you know, science and all that, mm-hmm. you know, they, they disengage in these things that uh, basically just a slap in the face of the most high, man. You know, you giving credit to uh, something that doesn't, that doesn't even live. You know, they giving something, they giving credit to uh, just philosophy over the heavenly power, man. Like he didn't make all these things. Like he didn't like he didn't uh, ordain everything in this on this earth, man. You know. That is Zechariah. Yeah. All right. This is Zechariah thirteen and seven. It says, "Awake, O sword!" Which that sword being Esau, Edom, the nation of the so-called white man. You know. It says, "Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, and against the man that is my fellow." Says the Lord Yahweh, Shemuel, Shai, Host. Smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered, and I will turn my hand upon the little ones. And that's 
talking about even going into Jacob's trouble, man, how the Lord literally gonna let the so-called white man woman and child loose against his people, man. And it's really for the wicked ones, man. He's gonna basically have y'all to, to, to be killed, as you about to read in verse eight. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third, well, that's really the point, man. Two thirds of the nation of Israel are gonna die and perish here in Babylon the Great, man. You know, by by the sword, by the hands of Esau, and or by that, that uh, nuclear missile, man. The thermal nuclear fire that the Lord prophesied to come and to destroy Babylon. Right. Uh, even when you back back up, back up, back up. Yeah. All right. This is the book of Second Andrews, chapter 2, and uh, verse 5. It says, As for me, O Father, I call upon thee for a witness over the mother of these children, which will not keep my covenant. Uh, verse 6 that thou bring them to conf confusion and their mother to a spoil, that there may be no off no offsprings of them. Let them be scattered yeah. up. Huh? The Lord said, let, let them be bring to, what did you say? Confusion. Yeah, yeah. confusion. Let them be bring to confusion and their mother to a spoil, man. And that's what the Lord has done to Israel, man. Uh, he, look, 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 look at Israel today, man. Israel is confused like a motherfucker, man. Those who don't know their head, they, they, they asshole from their mouth, man. They really don't, bro. Israel, Israel is confused, bro. Israel lie, cheat, steal. Bring out all type of uh, BS, man, that doesn't make no sense, man. Jake think he's so deep, but he's stupid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Israel is filled with confusion, man. Look at the mothers of the, 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 the households, man. The mothers of the households, man, they are they are fucked, man. Left left with no man, don't or don't need a man. Raising their kids to be punks, always kissing on them, loving on them, and ain't showing them tough love. I can say back in the seventies and eighties, man, mothers were stronger, bro. Single man, single mothers were stronger back then, bro. You know they raised us to, uh, hey man, suck it up, you, you suck it up, you fall, suck it up, go put some alcohol on it. Or they'll beat your ass, man. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, bro, you see a 10-year-old boy for his mama running up like a linebacker grabbing him. You okay, baby? You okay? Mm -hmm. Let that boy get up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, it's insane, man. The mothers today are just, just fucking gone, man. The women, period, bro. That's what's wrong with half these brothers today, bro. That's what's, that's what's wrong with these niggas in these streets killing each other off of they're killing each other, off, off, each other off of what? Words and emotions, bro. Words and emotions, bro. Uh, you, 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 my father always taught me, man. No matter, they don't get it. No, no. You, you shouldn't give a fuck what a nigga say to you, long as you don't put his hands on you. You know what I'm saying? Not like that a long time ago. But these niggas today, their mama built them up off responding off words and he, they see their mamas respond off words and emotions. So these young niggas do that today, bro. That's why they quick to grab a gun and just kill somebody just off what he said, bro. Just off what he said, bro. Well, really, niggas just talk. Really, niggas just talk. You know. So that's what that that that's why Israel is to a real true spoil, man. Cause Israel, Israel, there's no men up, there's no men that's manning up in Israel today, bro. They don't, don't stand up, niggas, unless you unless He's part of the elect on one third, man. Isaiah yeah. uh, five and thirteen said, "Therefore, my people are going into captivity because they have no knowledge, and their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst." You know, we go into that word famished. Yeah, the Hebrew word is Rahab, and 
that there's famine and hunger. Hunger, but it's, it's famine and hunger for the Lord's word. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you You went to the uh, root word? What? That's what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. I thought it was, what is the, the root word got to be different. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Sometimes the root word be well, different. The, it says, sometimes Blue Larry don't be telling you. It says the root word, it goes back to the same thing. To be hungry, to be voracious, which is hungry. Um, it says famished have suffered or suffered to hunger. That's the root word. Yeah. Let me go back. Yeah, just go back to the second. All right, this book of Second Edwards, chapter uh, 2 and verse 7. It says, let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. Let their names be put out of the earth, for they have despised my covenant. See that? Let them be scattered amongst the heathen. The Lord scattered the Israel from the four quarters of the earth, man. He said, let them... So, uh, let their names be put out of the earth, man. And what did it say in uh, Psalms 83? Let's, let's take away the name of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. There'd be no more, there be no more remembrance, man. And that's what they have done, man. Israel, man, we don't even know who we is, man, as a people. They, the, all Jake just talking about, we need to go back to Africa. Mm -hmm. huh. We need to go back to Africa. We need, we need, that's what we really need to do. We just need to go back to Africa. <laughs> so what, you can get cussed out by them too? <laughs> well, they damn sure know you ain't part of them. They damn sure know. They know firsthand. Before Esau. They know, bro. Why? Because they sold you to Esau, nigga. Uh, they know. Uh, they know firsthand who you is, man. Uh, well, niggas, niggas, niggas sit up here and just, yeah, we just need to go back to Africa all together. Uh -huh. We just need to go. Yeah, okay, nigga. Alright, stupid ass nigga. I heard uh, in a video, a Jake came up to the camera and said, these are the three things that we are about to do me. We need the first one, all the 10 HBCUs. Two, he said, he said two, he said we need to have independent financial freedom. And three, we need to embrace blackness. How are we going to have independent yeah. financial freedom? Yeah. None of our... Our nation don't control the money. Hey, that's three. Don't have no money. How are we going to <laughs> waste black? Waste black. <laughs> how do we do? How do we fucking do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't fuck everybody gonna get an HBCU. HBCU. HBCU denying niggas. Nigga, you got more. You got more fucking banks denying niggas uh 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 extra extension on their loans for their house, man. And then it's specifically Jake's. Specifically Israel, bro. So how the fuck is Jake gonna come up, Jake? How you gonna come up? You can't escape the Deuteronomy curses, man. Right. You can't, bro. You can't. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. You can't escape it, bro. You can't escape it, bro. You see all these niggas, all these Jake celebrities with all this money, ain't now one of them niggas came together and said, let's pick these communities across the U.S. Man, one of them, bro. Why? Because that's a curse of Deuteronomy. They should not help thy brother, bro. They should have an evil eye towards thy brother, bro. Right. Jake ain't gonna, Jake ain't about to help nobody, bro. Jake got millions. Yeah. Millions. 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 Jake got enough money right. to help all these communities around here, bro. At least the ones in the inner city. <laughs> Shit. Like, uh, them, them 20 Jakes that came together. Man, man, them niggas went in Atlanta and spent like millions of dollars on like acres of land, hundreds of acres, of, hundreds, hundred, uh, like a hundred acres, bro. Esau still ain't gave them niggas that paperwork, man. God. <laughs> <laughs> that, and you know how many years ago that was, Jake? Right? Yeah. Well, three years yeah. ago, bro. Yeah. Three, four yeah. years ago, bro. They still ain't got no I'm paperwork to, to succeed to build on that bitch, bro. Yeah. So y'all just gave this white man all y'all money. And he sit right there with control of y'all money and y'all paperwork. You're done. You're stupid. <laughs> oh, man, you're stupid, you're stupid bro. Yeah, you're stupid. Bro. But Jake just oh, say, we got to embrace blackness. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like y'all it's like didn't learn from Black Wall Street. That's yeah. what I was about to say next. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm not going to let Black Wall Street, Seneca Park. 
Nigga, this ain't anything hey, Jake had his hands on that made a big community. They destroyed it. It was another one they destroyed. It was, uh, nigga, they turned the whole community to a lake. Yeah, uh, that was Damn, man. Uh, turned the whole community to a lake. Uh, my friend wanted to win the thing. The Tulsa thing? Uh, it's a park. No. Uh, nah, I think it's actually in South Carolina. It's, it's, it's somewhere, bro. It's, 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 it's in Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Around this area. Yeah, around this vicinity. Bro, that, one, did, that one just the first one they turned to a lake. It was a whole thing. They did a few like Oh, they flooded. 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 They flooded. Yeah, they flooded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They flooded, bro. My cobra was talking about that shit. Lake Lanier. Oh, yeah. Lake Lanier, yeah. bro. Oh, yeah. Turn the shit to I a whole lake, bro. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, it's the yeah. lake that everybody yeah. be dying. Yeah, yeah, bro. It's the lake. You go over there. The whole thing down, bro. The whole neighborhood. Yeah, it's a, they say they say uh, yeah, they say, uh they say, they say, they they be dying. They be dying. They be drowning. Hey, you think okay? Okay, okay. they done did flood. They done motherfucker dropped it. They done dropped the nuclear on Jake. A baby nuke on Jake, bro. So you think Jake gonna build a big community here and be successful? Nigga, they probably buying this whole motherfucker, motherfucker up for Jake be successful in this bitch, bro. For Jake build an empire. Jake's not building no empire, bro. I'll tell you that right now. Not in this land. Bro. Not in this land, bro. Yeah, they, Jake, they gonna let Jake get a little bit of money. Jake make Jake feel good. But far as Jake building a multi billion dollar, multi multi million dollar empire, bro, it's not happening, bro. It's not happening. And why would you why would you think it's not happening? Because Esau know who you is, bro, and you're not gonna have that much power in his kingdom. Huh. He know y'all's is next. But Jake, you don't even know that. You think this is Jake. So I gotta get it while I'm here. Jake, Esau know like you got something special coming. So he's not gonna ever let you rule like that here, bro. Ever, bro. Esau will murk your ass before you rule over here like that, bro. And he believe me, these these deaths ain't coincidence of these niggas that had bread, bro. These deaths ain't coincidence, bro. It, it, it's not it's not a coincidence, bro. It's not a coincidence, bro. Cause the niggas that popped up dead, the Jakes that popped up dead that had bread, 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 bro. It's for a reason, bro. For a reason, bro. For a reason, bro. All, all them brothers had bread, 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 bro. He's not, 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 no, nigga, they're separate. Don't you realize, bro, Esau is, is separating y'all for a reason. Because he don't fuck with you, Jake. <laughs> Jake, he don't fuck with you. But y'all want to sit right here and say, well, the middle class and the lower class, we need to come together. No, the fuck we don't. If the higher class keeping us apart, shouldn't that ring a bell to you, nigga? Like, damn, these motherfuckers keeping us apart. It got to be a reason. And Jake, you should know, nigga, all these motherfucking devils out here ain't fucking with you. So why you gonna think, why you wanna team up with them, Jake? Man, teaming up with these devils is not gonna get us ahead, bro. It's gonna get us dead, bro. It's gonna get us dead, bro. Because in the time when Esau get ready to show his horns, Jake, you gonna see these Edomites turn cold bloody. The, the, the Edomite that talk was your friend talking about he haw <laughs> I'm turn around with a whole motherfucking shotgun, ready to blow your head off, bro. If you do something wrong, bro. Or might just do it just on the strip because y'all was shot said, uh, those who join hand in hand shall be thrust through, man. Uh-huh. So shit, nigga, you 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 up here trying to be cool with these devils, bro, and you gonna get thrust through, Jake. Then you got this, this desire to be accepted. Good. Like it's shown, like no matter how wealthy or successful you come, become in this in this uh, kingdom, you're not going to be accepted. You're still going to be looked at as a nigga, man. Come, on. you know, you're still going to be looked at, you know, looked down upon. Man. And that's what Esau got in his mind, point blank. Period. Jay. No matter how, 
you you can have a big. I hear Jay Z's producers and these celebrities. Yeah, I got billion dollar white friends. They're billionaires. I'm going, yeah. I've been to their house. We discuss. Uh, uh, we discuss how to uh, uh, prosper and succeed. Jay, you, you don't think when you left. That motherfucker said, thank God this nigga out here, honey, spray the couch. <laughs> Matter of fact, burn it. <laughs> you don't think your motherfuckers got a state of mind like that, bro? Or, or, or I, I'm not telling that nigga really how to succeed. I'm not telling him how I did it. I'll give him a pointer or two, but I'm not telling him how I did it. You know what I mean? Like, bro, Jay, he saw I don't fuck with you, man. And then, yeah. <laughs> He's not definitely gonna fuck with you. So you there ain't no coming together with these devils, man. But hey, y'all can go ahead and try, bro. I'm gonna be looking right at y'all like some fools, man. Just like that motherfucking state trooper that got shot we seen in the chat. Check up here wrapping them up. <laughs> oh, oh man, I, I, man. I ought to cuss every last one of them niggas out. You stupid ass niggas. And ain't none of them motherfucking police gonna turn around and grant y'all gratitude for that, bro. Nope. None of them, bro. Ain't none of them gonna be like, you know what you all you niggas ain't bad. All you niggas ain't bad, man. Y'all all right, man. Did y'all hear right. what they said in the video yeah. too? Yeah, man, we got him in the backseat, man. You should've let me beat him up. That's what they was telling the officer, um, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, beat man. up another Jake. Yeah. You shooting the police. Nah. And these motherfuckers been killing Jake. Talking about, yeah, man, he in the backseat. Y'all about to knock him out. Yeah, I heard that. Well, what? Talking about, you should've let me get him. I wish the Lord would have made all them drop dead. That was right there. Esau laying up right there. And Esau had been bleeding out dead. Yeah. Well, nigga, I would have seen his ass and walked the other way. That's the mind of Jay. He's saving the oppressor, bro. Yeah. We got to help him, man. Yeah. We got to show him. This ain't no bad hood. Right. Hey, I got that word, though. Oh, yeah. I got that word. Because truly, like, like we telling you, the nation of Israel is in captivity right now. And really, we at war. So if you think about it, I think I was telling one of y'all about this last week, um, that truly, we, we're really, um, what do they call it? Damn, I just got to about to say it. When you're in war, but you get captured and defeated, and they take you into their land, prisoners or something. Prisoners, prisoners of, war. of war. Right, yeah, technically, that's where we are right now. Prisoners yeah. of war, right? Yeah. We in our enemy's land, and we, we have to serve them, right? And then that lead, led me to this word. Stockholm Syndrome, man, which is like like they were saying in this video, you got niggas in our enemy's land ready to, yeah, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. ready, ready to, to down there bandage up the enemy and save his life just so they, and in the meantime, they were trying to beat up another nigga. But the word Stockholm Syndrome says feelings of trust or affection felt in many cases of kidnapping or hostage taking by a victim toward a captive. And that's what you, you niggas and, and nigga women got towards Esau, man, so-called white man. Y'all yeah, don't complain about Moab and Ammon. Y'all, I mean, y'all don't love Moab and Ammon, but y'all love Esau, man. Y'all willing to give up the kingdom just because Esau not going to rule with you, man. You know, and, and that's that's stupid, man. But that's literally Stockholm Syndrome, man. That's what y'all got. And it, that's, that's beautiful that the brother brought that up because Esau don't, Esau don't got us prisoners uh, from 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 Esau don't got us prisoners to just to keep us from ourselves. He got us prisoners to keep us from our true power, bro. He's keeping us from Yahweh, bro. He got us prisoners from Yahweh, bro. From some some from from a power that can just have us ruling, bro. That it's not it's not even about us being free, bro. He got us prisoners from our power, man. And like it's it's crazy when you think of it like that, bro. Like he he literally took the name from us, bro. And we can't we and, and the, all of Israel don't even know what to call on, man. And it, it, you damn right we prisoners of hope, bro. Hope that we get back on that chariot, man, and get the fuck out of here, man. For real, man. Not even through the chair. He ain't even gotta be the chair. Help the take a fire through the fire, bro. Shit. Anything, man. Real, bro. Anything to get the fuck up out of here. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> even if it's through death, fuck it. God damn. Get <laughs> take the fuck up out of here, bro. Real, man. Real, bro. Jake got.
I can get the fuck on out of here, bro. They can just, oh, this is just fucking nonsense now, bro. Just come to the point to where if you turn on the TV, you just see folly. You turn on your phone, you see folly. You look outside, you go to the grocery store, you see folly. You go to a restaurant, you see folly. You see folly everywhere, man. Can't, can't escape from it, man. It's a lot. Go ahead, bro. All right. Back to Sickie Idris, chapter two, and verse um, eight. 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 Sickie Idris, chapter two, and verse uh, eight. It says, Woe be unto thee, assure thou that hidest the unrighteous in thee, O thou wicked people. Re remember what I did unto Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so how, how, how you motherfucking Sodom might say? That man said, Remember what you did to, remember what I did to Sodom and Gomorrah, Jay. So how is okay for uh, the Christian church to accept P Valley? Come on. <laughs> I don't understand it. How is cool for them to be over there with P Valley chilling, bro? Well, well, they, the Lord said, remember what I did, man. And he brought that mug down. Mm -hmm. oh, down, wow. bro. Down, bro. Go ahead, bro. It's a lot of fire. Trying to bust down my angels. <laughs> 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 right, yeah. 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 I got some for you, nigga. You niggas trying to bust down my angels? So yeah, bro. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, <laughs> 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 man. Entirely of halite or rock salt, the mineral form of sodium chloride. And they say that's, that's, that's crazy. crazy. What? The images or the article? Look at them. God damn. Wow. Yeah, Jay. I'll show it to the camera too. But they say that's that's the pillar. Uh, that is, bro. Whoa, that's that's tough. Tough. Uh -huh. damn. Yeah, that was tough, man. <laughs> <laughs> and he left it up yeah, for yeah. 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 And all I typed in in Google search is pillar of salt found, and that's the reason with it, bro. You niggas stupid, bro. I'm like, bro, man, bro, it's a really book on earth. Huh? Really book on earth, bro. Yeah, it's really book on earth, bro. I'm not, bro. How can you not? How can how can you fall out of truth? How? I guess that's something the Lord can answer. Cause man, all this truth out here and all this stuff, all this stuff has like been seen. Well, come on, man. You, you niggas falling out of truth. 
children and bring them up with gladness make their feet as fast as a pillar for I have chosen thee said the Lord verse 16 and those that be dead will I raise up again from their place and bring them out of the grave out of the graves for I have known my name in Israel mm. the Lord said he's going to bring them out of what is that bro he's going to raise up dead and alive and dead bro they all coming back to the land of Israel bro all, all the all the slaves that was thrown over on a slave ship in the Atlantic, in the Atlantic Sea, and the Atlantic Ocean and stuff, bro. All that they all coming back, bro. And who's to say? Hey, they probably here today. As the Lord said, every everything should see him, bro. Mm -hmm. And even the one like He said, Revelation. Everybody gonna come up off the water, the graves, everything, bro. Everything, life and death is gonna see him, bro. Even, even they who pierced him on the water. Huh, exactly. Yeah, bro. Wow, bro. Even who pierced him? Them niggas, them niggas, them niggas. Coming back on the fight. Yeah. Wow. Niggas in graveyard. Yeah. You working yeah. in the graveyard? You just seeing niggas coming from the left. This gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah, he was going to the grave. Yeah, tough. Coming out of the grave. Yes. Second uh, is uh, two and seventeen. It says, um, "Fear not, thou mother of thy children, for I have chosen thee," said the Lord. For thy help will I send my servant Isaiah. Isaiah. Oh, Isaiah mm -hmm. and Jeremy. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. So I'm And Jeremiah. Out of whose counsel I have sanctified and prepared for these no, twelve trees true. laden with diverse fruits. Right, man. These twelve, these twelve trees laden with diverse fruits, man. Those are the twelve tribes, man. They, 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 they ready to come back to the kingdom, man. Like he said, he, he sent his prophets Isaiah and Jeremiah, bro, to, to, to uh, show Israel, man, the kingdom is at hand, bro. And the kingdom is at hand now, today, more than ever, bro. And I hope y'all niggas, well, hope, well, I hope you niggas be put to death. And I hope the hope we let, like the brothers that believe, stay in this truth and keep pushing, man. And, uh, hey, man, let me, let me, uh, hey, uh, hey man, uh, vi uh, pushing videos don't make you righteous, and it's not going to save you, man. What's going to save you is the inner, the inner Jew, bro, who you are and what you're doing on your all time and how you presenting yourself, bro, in these worlds, bro. You know, 
videos is a good thing as well, pushing the word. But he's looking for the energy, man, who you are inside, man, and what and what you fighting, man. And keeping demons up off you, man. That's what's gonna save you, man. You know what I mean? And you brothers, man, hey, y'all always remember that, man, and keep y'all heads up, man. And, hey, the brother don't and like the Lord said, man, he hate lying tongues and man and those who don't do that brothers right, man. So y'all gotta y'all gotta y'all gotta stay strong, man. You know? Show them up, man. Show them up. Call a lawyer out. I'm a shimmy, I'm a shop, I'm a shimmy, 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 I'm